Bubble tea. You've probably heard of it, seen people walking around with it. Gee, I'm thirsty. And you're probably a little bit interested as to what it is. In this video, I'm going to help you order your first bubble tea. <laughs> Hi team, my name's David and I'm coming to you from Coco Fresh Tea and Juice in Hobart. And in today's video, we're gonna break down how to order a bubble tea from Coco Fresh Tea and Juice in Australia. Yes, in a land where the cuppa has been around for yonks, we can now raise a glass to a cup of cocoa. Okay, so let's break down how to order a bubble tea into four categories. First, you're gonna have milky or fruity. Then we're gonna add some toppings, or some would say, put some chew in your brew. Next is gonna be the temperature of the drink ranging from really cold with lots of ice all the way to really, really hot. And then how sweet do you want it? Remember, we make many other drinks, including slushies, smoothies, and special edition drinks, which I'll go through in later videos. But to keep it simple, I'll stick with just the basics. Also stick around to the end of this video to get my top three drink recommendations so you can order like a pro. Yes, sir. Okay, first you need to decide if you want a milky drink or a fruity drink. Most of our drinks will either have black, green, or roasted tea. All of our standard milk tea drinks use our creamer. Don't be fooled by the name of creamer. Our creamer is very creamy and velvety and delicious. If you like the idea of fresh milk, check out our latte series. But a quick rundown of our standard milk teas are, you take a green tea and add our creamer and you get our jasmine milk tea. Take roasted tea and add creamer and you get our roasted milk tea. Or our most popular will be black tea plus our creamer equals the cocoa milk tea. Fun fact, some of our milk teas will use a cocoa milk tea and just have a different topping to make a different drink. If you want some more information on that, I'm going to link a video on the details of our milk teas in the description below. Now, if you're feeling a little fruity, then we have a large range of fruit options. We've got our general fruit tea range, we've got our smoothies, slushes, and your cult range. That's right, I did say your cult, more on that later. Now we have a lot of classic flavors such as mango, passion fruit, lemon, orange, strawberries and cranberries, even down to some more exotic flavors such as winter melon, dragon fruit, and avocado. Since we have so many different drink options, I'll link a video in the description about our fruit tea drinks explained. But for the sake of simplicity, I'll just focus on our general fruit tea range. In simple terms, you'll select your flavor, whether it be mango, passion fruit, orange, lemon. Add our green tea for a refreshing drink. Basically, think of it as a fruit flavored iced tea. Once you've picked between milky and fruity, we can now add the toppings. Why are they called toppings when they always sit on the bottom? And as mentioned before, in some cases, the difference between the drink itself is not actually the drink, but the toppings that we put in. For example, you take our pearl milk tea. It has our cocoa milk tea plus pearls. The drink that we have called Two Ladies, it is our pearl milk tea plus pudding. For more in-depth information, we're gonna have a detailed video link in the description. Black pearls, our most popular and versatile topping. It can go in practically any drink to put some chew in your brew. But if you're feeling adventurous, you could even add pudding, jellies, or maybe even top things off with our cloud. Best described as a salted whipped cream. Mm. Like where this is going? Hit the like button. Also let us know in the comments if you have any other topics or questions you'd like us to cover. Now, great job for getting this far. You've selected your drink and now you need to select the sweetness and temperature. We will ask sugar and ice level. With sweetness, you have five options. Standard sweetness, which is 100%, 70%, 50%, 30% or no sugar. Now this is based on the recommended sweetness level set by Coco Taste Test Sensations based in Taiwan, and they set that globally. But a couple of tips for you. If you have two sugars in a standard coffee, 
That's like 50% sugar in a milk tea. For a fruit tea, the tartar, the taste of the fruit, generally the higher standard sugar is going to be to balance out the flavors. Now, some of our drinks do not allow 30 or 50% options. This is simply because the recommended sweetness overall is lower. If you're still not sure and new to our drinks, I'd recommend aiming for 50% sugar. This way, you can just adjust the sweetness level next time, whether it be up or down. If you're a sweet tooth, 100% sugar all the way. If you don't like a lot of sweetness, then I absolutely recommend going with no sugar. You know you can always go up from there. Moving on to ice or temperature. This allows you to choose how warm or cold you want the drink. The options you have are piping hot, nice and warm, cold with no ice, less ice, standard ice, or even extra ice. Not all drinks come with these options. For example, our fruit drinks will only come cold where you can vary the ice. But our milk tea can go the whole thing. You could have it from piping hot on a cold day all the way through to extra ice on some of those scorches that Australia is known for. Now, while some of these drinks may require a minimum set of ice, we do that just to keep a balanced flavor because otherwise it can feel a little bit too watery. But don't worry, when ordering, our staff are there to help you. Whoa. That's been a lot, but you've made it this far. I'm proud of you. Now it's time for my top three recommendations. Number one, for something milky, I would always recommend starting with our pearl milk tea. Aim for 50% sugar and less ice. And if you're feeling cold, why not warm it up? If you're feeling fruity, I would start with a mango green tea. Let's add some lychee jelly, go 30% sugar and standard ice. And third and finally, my personal favorite and the one that I drink every day is a fresh cocoa green tea, no sugar. Now, depending on the weather, if it's nice and cold, which it is traditionally in Tasmania for 90% of the time, it'll be hot or warm. But at the time of this recording, it is summer and we are starting to get some great weather, so I'm going cold with no ice. That's a guilt-free way to enjoy Coco daily. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed our video and would like to learn more about the wonderful world of Coco fresh tea and juice, remember to hit the subscribe button and I'll see you next time. Stay beautiful. Yes, sir. Hello. Oh, that was just me doing that. Oh.